Hi everyone, today we're talking about abandoned park number 7, which is located on the left bank in Kiev. It's really amazing, huge structure and you definitely should visit it. Yeah, so we just started from in front of the building, in front of the fence basically. We just stopped over there, uh, waited for the moment where there were no people and I just climbed over the fence. The other is there are actually guards, you can see the car on the left. Uh, so there are people working over there because uh, part of the administrative building is for rent. So probably someone is renting offices over there. On the Google Maps we saw that there is some kind of print over there. So probably there are some kind of workers who go there. So we decided not to take risk. I just took a look and then came back. Yeah, so I, I, I went first to find out how it's going on and then the rest were coming later. Crazy big amount of buses over here. I've never seen so many. Uh, most of them are completely disassembled. Yeah, I mean, they, some of them still have, have wheels, you can see, but uh, the most expensive parts are missing, of course, so the transmission, uh, engine, sometimes even some insides. Yeah, so everything was simply disassembled and stolen. Um, luckily, here on the outside, it's still pretty loud so I can step on something and create some noise and it's not, a, not that of a big deal. Yeah, because there are trucks coming nearby, road is very bad, there are also trams, they are creating crazy amount of noise. It's pretty easy over here. Yeah, just found a nice place, just crawl through two buses and, and yeah, and you are on the other side. It's a bit loud, but I would remind you there are a lot of cars outside, so probably nobody hears me. I have seen this uh, hall in front of me before. Yes, so I just came here. Uh, yeah, these are from glass, so yeah, some of them are simply broken. Uh, later, when we're walking around, um, I saw that there are a few other places with holes, however many other holes were covered. Yes, yeah, so there are not too many places to enter. There is also even nice entrance, which entrance where you, where you can drive with a car basically, but it starts from the administrative building. Yes, yeah, so it's very easy to get caught. More or less dark inside, especially in the buses. It's actually lighter than you can see on the screen. Uh, because this is the GoPro, GoPros are very bad in low light, yeah, no matter what they write. Yeah, this is the 8 GoPro and it sucks in low light. Yeah, luckily I have like 2000 lumen um, light on my head, so this, this helps. Yeah, you have to be crazy uh, careful and quiet inside because um, a lot of broken stuff on the ground, especially glass. And the acoustics here is just amazing, which is not very good for us illegal visitors. Every time you step on something, even crazy small, everybody can hear it in the building. Yeah, so if guard is inside, he will definitely hear you. Yeah, there is no way you can hide from that. Luckily, we were alone. Yeah, in the beginning, there was no one inside, but still we try to be as quiet as possible because sometimes people are passing by near the main entrance and we can hear them. It looks like uh, guards are mostly girls over here. We saw two ladies, but also the first time when we wanted to enter from the back, uh, we saw some guys over there. That's why we actually decided to jump over the main fence in front. Yeah, You can see the building is really big. Uh, luckily, I have fish eye, yeah, a lot of distortion, but it gives you understanding how huge it is. You can see everything is hanging. Yeah, so it stands only on the corners and on the central big column. Yeah, I decided to climb on a trolley bus to have a, have a better look. Nice view from here. Yeah, the, the original idea for me uh, was to just climb on one of the roofs and just go around. Yeah, this one is pretty far away from others, so I pick another one. But the problem I face over here is not the distance, but the sound that I create. Yeah, because on some I can walk pretty quietly, 
but on the others roof is not really made for walking yeah, these these are trolley bus you can see that they have special parts where you can walk because you would know you would need to repair uh, the connectors sometimes so they are made for walking on top so it's pretty quiet and okay over here structure is still holding and not creating too much sound uh, but I'm about to jump to to usual bus and that's loud and later I jumped to another bus and it was even louder so I decided not to jump on the roofs because I would simply uh, mess all the fun over here so I decided to be quiet and uh, I went down. Nice view from here. Um, it really depends on the sun, yeah, because uh, there are a lot of nice entrances on top. But we were in partially cloudy weather, so sometimes sun is amazing. There are yellow, nice colors inside. Another time it's just cloudy and everything is gray, blue, and hard to get some view. View from, from drone before climbing in the second time. Full drone on top a bit. Its roof is also pretty nice. And this is the another part of the building. The, our first visit we actually didn't get here because I thought that this part is not used. I thought that you know it's just some kind of a building, but it's not with the buses. But actually, there are so many of them here, and they are all standing on this. A repair channels here yeah, and all the insides everything is taken away uh, this part is actually much creepier uh, than the previous one it's also because of the lightning and because the buses are so close every time I was just passing by looking left and right and it looks like in kind of a bit of a horror movie that somebody would jump out right now from from the window yeah here I hit uh, the mirror at uh, the place where the mirror was supposed to be it created a lot of sound but luckily again no one was here. Also, if you look on the ground, you can see that uh, there are a lot of passages already, probably made by illegals. This is a very popular place uh, in Kiev. So you can see the passages actually where people walk, and this helps because because of the ma many years, glass has already moved to the sides a bit. Yeah, you can see this passage going a bit farther, and it's possible to walk here pretty quiet. Yeah, here I decided to jump down, have, have a look from here. Yeah, different wires and pipes are just hanging down from, from the buses. Crazy to understand how many, how much money were here and they were just disassembled and I don't know how, how official is it. Uh, but yeah, this this place is also pretty nice. So if you would get through the uh, the same way as I did, definitely go here. It's pretty quiet. Yeah, it's pretty far away from the from the main entrance. Probably no one uh, no one will hear you. Here are mostly the the smaller buses. Yeah, with marshutkas. They were made in the Bohdan factory on the western Ukraine in uh, city Lutsk. Yeah, and other big buses were Luas, uh, were Las buses, sorry. They were made in Lviv. Yeah, so this is my uh, attempt to go to the center. This is the first time, so lighting is a bit, is a bit better. It's so very, very hard to do it quiet. Yeah, there is more glass over here on the ground. Sometimes some wires on which you could easily step. Yes, yeah, so we have to be pretty careful. Here, there are only there are only steps on the roof. Yeah, only these metal ones. They are pretty nice. You can go them on them quiet. Yes, yeah, so nobody hears you, but anyone can see you. Yeah, from almost all the entrances, you are visible. Yeah, this this is the problem. Yeah, so you go up pretty nice, quick, quiet, convenient. Yeah, also nice view from here. There is also like this balcony over here, this level and a level higher, which you can where you can make pictures, but I didn't. And this is already entrance to the roof. Roof is pretty amazing. 
and you know when you walk on top and you understand that everything is hanging and it's already for many years since these Soviet times you just hope that they build it really nice <laughs> because I've seen many collapsed buildings you know especially in Pripyat for example and even in other parts of Ukraine yeah so it's pretty kind of a bit intense over here a really cool windows yeah you can see their nice shape with with weight which holds them open yeah pretty cool uh, and this is the ventilation and I found that here you can climb uh, on top yeah it's, it's pretty easy there are nice places to grab you don't need to be like you know like a parkour specialist to climb over here it's pretty easy a bit nicer here there's a lot of other ventilation parts but yeah you, you climb up uh, you are actually even more visible uh, than before yeah because can, anyone can see you on this roof and if you climb up it's uh, it's even worse you know, any building yeah you can see this is this is the very top uh, later I realized that actually you can climb here even from the bottom from here from outside from the steps yeah there is no need to climb here inside but it looks cooler we're going down yeah the first time we went down pretty nice and quick was easy no problems next time we were a bit later over here and we faced interesting problem uh, that um, some kind of guards probably one person came to the to the box like a big container inside of this bus uh, bus station and just turn on the huge lamp and he was sitting over there just you know on a shift to guard this territory luckily he was uh, doing something a smartphone maybe even with headphones and we were able to go down uh, unseen from top to the bottom and entered from the back of the building yeah but it, it was around 8 30 so be aware that at this time somebody would come inside and be sitting inside with a, with a huge lamp uh, on that uh, container yeah, so be careful with that and then you just run away jump over and that's it yeah if you like to know more about some cool places in kiev or even in the world when the corona ends yeah please sign up like and subscribe, be nice to hear from you, give us ideas where we can climb.